my awesome people, uh, cat people, people that are into the paranormal, people that know me on other streams when I appear. Excuse me, get off. Now, this is a video that I've not really been wanting to make, but people that know me quite well, see me on a few streams. Try and move this camera. See me on, I don't know. <laughs> Him, a few other people know that I had a, a cat called Kublai. Now, I did have 18 cats, but now I'm down to 17, unfortunately. And um, two days, hold on, yes, two days before Christmas, unfortunately, um, I had to take Kublai to the vets, and unfortunately, he did pass away. Now, I already knew sort of what was going on because it's been got an online problem within the cats that I've got. Anyway, through, I could obviously say, not my own fault, but it doesn't matter at the end of the day. What it was, many, 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 many years ago, I lived in a different house and... Um, one of my children kept saying to me, Mom, Mom, that cat outside looks really, really ill. Can we bring it in? And I kept saying, please, whatever you do, do not bring that cat in. I don't, he's, yeah, he's not well. Please don't bring him in. Please don't bring him in. Please don't bring him in. One day I come downstairs into my front room. They brought it in. Unfortunately, it appeared that the cat had a form of cat flu and FIP, which is it's a fem feline I'm try to say this word immune deficiency virus or FIV is a cat specific virus that is thought to affect approximately two to five percent of the cat population in the UK. It is a slow acting virus that many infected cats enjoy a normal lifespan with no apparent health concerns as a result of the virus. FIV is a specific, is species specific. In other words, it's only cats only. And, oh, sugar. And cannot be passed to humans. If you're willing to make a few adjustments to your home, both to protect them from illness and other cats from the disease, these cats make wonderful and rewarding companions. Believe me, they do. The cats are all around me at the moment because they know I'm pretty upset. So, as soon as I start getting ready to make this video, in fact, I've got... Yoshi on me at the moment. Anyway, the next bit. It is a slow-acting virus and many infected cats enjoy... Oh, sugar, I've just read that. I hate it when you go over yourself. Right. Basically, it is a slow acting disease and it's horrible. It really, really is horrible. And, oh, we're not going to go into it all. But basically, I've had problems with the cats uh, with the teeth, and that is why I've taken them to the vets. Some of the cats have had the teeth removed, they've had, you know, treatment that they've needed my cats will not all reproduce because i've had all my cats done i keep all my cats inside as well obviously i'm upset that my daughter or yeah it was my youngest daughter let this cat in which came with the disease i am upset with her but what's done is done you can't take back something that's happened but unfortunately, when all the cats came down with all the illness the first time round, they had problems with their, their breathing and everything. And we didn't know what to do. And I couldn't afford to take all them cats to the vet. No way. And it was a case of trying to make sure they ate, make sure that the airways were clear, constantly clean eyes, clean noses. It was an ongoing Thing to keep doing for ages and ages so 
So basically, it really was not fun. We did actually lose two older cats at the time, which I'm not going to go into details, but they both did die in front of me, and it was the most horrendous way to see them die. It was horrible, and I never, ever want to see that ever happen again. Really don't. You don't wish that on your worst enemy. So anyway, the other cats were all fine. And over the last few years since living here, I've been taking them on and off to the vets because obviously it does attack their teeth. And rather than have them living in pain, which, no, you just can't, I can't do that with an animal. I never can, never will. So basically, uh, they they go to the vets, they've had teeth removed, they've gone sometimes with uh, troubles of um, the guts, go to the vets. So basically, before Christmas, Kublai... Um, Stopped eating. But it was only, let's see, Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday. So Tuesday, something like that. Tuesday or Wednesday, he stopped eating. We're saying that, I think it ate like the night before, but he didn't eat in the morning. And it's like, well, why are you not eating? So try different foods, because sometimes... Cats get picky with food. They either want it chopped up or they want it a little bit more runny. Because they get um, wet food all the time. You know, the meat, that's what they call it. Because it holds a lot of moisture. So we did all the usual things. And then we thought, well, we're trying with different food. Didn't want different food. Tried to water it down a little bit with warm water to make it nice and smelly for them. No good. So we kept an eye on him. I mean, I was making sure he was hydrated, but obviously probably wasn't hydrated enough. I kept trying to give him water. But over the next few days, he was losing weight at a horrible, horrible, rapid way. It was horrible. And in the end, it was like, no, he's got to go to the vets. Can't go up with this. But it's just before Christmas. I don't care. I'm taking him. To, we need to go to the vets. It's not going to last. If they can do something, they need to do something now. So I went to the vets and they said, they, uh, they did a blood test and everything, which they don't do it for nothing. They do not do it for nothing at all. They took blood tests and checked him and they says, no, it's basically, it advanced the FIP. And I think they call it, was it FIV? And, um... It had prolonged. He'd lost a lot of weight. Even though I was giving him water, it wasn't enough. He was dehydrated. And he had... Uh, she said it was jaundice. So basically, you know, the le yellowing around the ears a little bit. And then in the eyes. And she just said, there is, treat there is treatment for it. At four grand. I'm just like, what? You know, four grand. Imagine doing that per cat. I haven't got four grand. <laughs> so I was like, oh. But then she's, I even said when he had stopped eating. And she said, even if we'd went right away when he had stopped eating that first meal, it wouldn't have made a difference. He was going to deteriorate anyway. He was just too advanced. So it's something you don't see always in animals because some animals hide it. They're not like dogs that'll go around and start lifting a leg up or crying and whimpering and stuff like that. Cats don't. They don't show it. But I noticed little things before. Little things that he used to always go and sit on my chest and I've got videos of him suckling on my shirt. And I'd be like, he's not come near me for ages. Even though he was a pest doing it. You notice little things that they stopped doing. But he was still eating. So I didn't think anything of it. And then when he stopped eating, it started all falling into place. And it was like, right, vets. But obviously, they said there was nothing they could do about it. So unfortunately, he did pass away in my arms at the vets. Which was very de devastating. It was not, not the nicest thing you ever, ever want to see with any animal 
And people say, oh, cats are this, cats are that. But cats have their own different personalities. They're not like dogs. But I interacted with a lot of them. Well, all of them, mostly. So I noticed things. I'm trying to move this camera over. It's just because Yoshi's in the way. So, um... Are you moving, are you? Okay. Put this down now. So, yeah. He said there was nothing I could do, even before he'd stopped eating. It was just... It was going to advance anyway. I mean, the other ones, I do keep an eye on them, but there's now really not much I can do. All I can just say is the cat that got let in obviously came with it. It's like a form of cat leukaemia as well. It does affect the blood. But mainly, you know, there's no treatment. Well, it wasn't at the time. Like I said, four, four grand, I'm just like, no, no, I've passed out. It was like, no, no, it's just, I can't afford that. So, anyway, we are getting him cremated. Um, and obviously I've got poor prints and fur and all that. I've got loads of photographs of him. Got loads of videos of him, which I will show you shortly in a minute. Unfortunately, this is the part and parcel of owning animals. Things happen beyond your control. You can't blame anybody for it. It's awful. Now, I have tried to be happy during Christmas. And yeah, I do laugh and joke along and everything. But it doesn't mean I've been happy about it. Because at the end of the day, it's part of the family that you have. So any animal that dies, like your cat, dog, rabbit, hamster, you know, anything. Even people that, like me, are in the invert world as well. That like the tarantulas, spiders, reptiles and all the rest. When you've had an animal a number of years, you've looked after them, you put your heart and soul, you make sure that they're okay. And as soon as something goes wrong, you notice it right away. Well... You know, after you've done your best, there's not much else you can do. All you've got to do now is remember them and remember the love and the care that you've had for them. So I am going to show you a few videos and a few video... Uh, oh, sure. I'm going to show you a few videos and pictures of him and um, the fun of the life that I had with him and the life that he shared with us and the care and I mean he does leave behind a brother which I don't think he's in here actually he's probably left the room somewhere anyway I thought I'd show you these and uh, yeah enjoy brush you're a nutcase I'll use you as the brush in a minute I think you like that bit, did you? <laughs> There's more bits on you. Look at that. Look at that. Nope. 
beating the brush up, aren't you? What has this brush ever done to you? in there. Who is it? Let me see. Have you just been in that place? Come on, let's see who's in here. Who's in there? Cute life. <laughs> some nutcases. Goobalai. Goobalai. Silly boy, aren't you? <coughs> that is not a new scratch toy. It's meant to be a new ornament, not a scratch toy for a Cuba like silly boy. Dig. I've got a few bottom. <laughs> yeah. I have. Good boy. Yeah, clever little boy, ain't you? Well, big boy. Good boy. Do you like this box, eh? Do you? But the dragon isn't a scratch toy for rubbing yourself against. And you do not own it either. It's mine. What is it, Shira? A new toy. Good boy. Good girl, not so.
without your new tie. Anyway, I will try and make the next video a bit more happier. I mean, I did do the, I still kept with the giveaway, and they are going to get sent out shortly. Um, Sarah Burton, I've still not got an email off you, so could you please uh, send an email? Uh, the email should, my email address, sorry, should be in my description. I did put it on my community page as well, but I will do it again. So please get in contact so I can send it to you. I probably won't send it out to maybe one day next week. Um, yeah. And I will try and make the next videos a little bit happier. I mean, I'm not going to forget about him. I am getting um, a tattoo with his name and a paw print of him. So. And... I do have a, um, a paranormal investigation this month. I'll try and get more and collaborate more. Uh, anyway, please like, share and subscribe. And thank you for watching.